September 6, 2015, Wiki Speed Linwood, Washington, United States shop. Here's chassis number eight. And uh, we've just bolted on the uh, A-pillar templates for the modular uh, windshield on both sides. They attach directly to the V31 suspension and they should clear all previous versions of suspensions as well. It's an additional contract, but uh, that contract looks like it fits. Also, we received our race test tires, 345 wide, 35 millimeter sidewall uh, aspect ratio, 18 inch wheels, but the wheels haven't arrived yet. These were really cheap on eBay for 129 for the pair, used Hoosier A6s. They might be A7s, I think they're A6s. And if you compare that to the tread from a 2006 Honda Civic that we were using, it's right about double the width, um, which is just awesome and a half. Uh, so we'll see if V31 suspension, which is built for these wheels, uh, for these tires and wheels allows. Um, so got the A-pillar template on, unpacked the A-pillar and windshield frame, uh, got the tires and set them up, but we don't have the wheels for them yet. Here's the windshield frame cut from Big Blue Saw. This is in the Wikispeed Dropbox for anyone who wants to play with it. It's open source. And it uses a uh, uh, off-the-shelf windshield wiper motor assembly uh, and a 28-inch wiper to clear the, the whole glass from the center. The problem is this windshield wiper arm is not as long as I'd like, even fully telescoped. Uh, I'd want it about another four or five inches long. Luckily, I think we can make this arm insert just out of a little piece of aluminum with the right size hole cut, um, I think. So we'll try fabbing up the extension. Uh, here's that wiper type for anybody who wants one. Uh, so here's a uh, 28 inch we just got the cheapest 28 inch that the parts store had. Well, actually, I don't think this is the cheapest, but a rain guard is the wiper. And actually, that's a slightly shorter wiper. That's from a 2006 Honda Civic, but I tested the rain guard earlier. And here's the wiper motor box unpackaged. Oh, I have a sticky note with the measurements over the, uh, over the label. So here's another one. If someone was gonna replicate this, I got it from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. So it should be standard. Deluxe Standard Wiper, uh, on Goro, three-year warranty, model number 31011, uh, 90 or 110 degree sweep. I believe this CAD, we have it set for the 110 de degree sweep, and it has a short little blade, meant for, I think, flat front Jeeps, that type of thing, but it should work well. What else was in the backlog that happened today? So... Attach A pillars, that happened. Done. Test fit windshield front plate glass wiper motor wiper. Done. Close inspection of V31 front suspension for cracks or bends, film it. That just happened. Uh, that's after drop testing the front suspension, which should be more severe than anything it should see in normal use. And then this one in progress, CAD No Weld 01 Gusset CAD. These gussets, this is one and two gussets here. Here's light. One, then two gussets. They're the same gusset plate, and we used so many to attach the car together in different places. And it totally worked. The problem is, it was difficult for people who came in just to do this for fun to get the car very, very square, uh, very parallel. So the thought was to make one gusset piece for each side that's nice long and square and one long piece to bring it together and we'd have one two three four of those long pieces and then underneath the glass five six seven eight and then of the side pieces we'd have one two three four five six and seven eight uh, and um, Troy has been working on those here let's see if I can get them we actually got the CAD done, 
but now we're getting them all in one CAD file nested the best we can so that it can be cut in one water jet operation. We've been using Big Blue Saw online, bigbluesaw.com, and they're fantastic. It actually looks like you're almost got them all in there. Yep. Uh, looks we'll really close. When this is done, we'll call this story done as well. We'll upload it to Big Blue Saw for a quote. Now, they don't normally allow 48 inch wide parts. They go to 47 and a half to make sure they can cut a nice clean edge on each side when they use standard 48 inch wide material. But the Wiki Speed car was designed for standard 48 inch wide material, and it's okay if there's a rough edge or an uncosmetic edge on the sides. So if we upload it to them via email and make a special request, they do charge a little more, but they will do 48 inch wide parts, uh, like the windshield frame. Um, and that's what we got done September 6th, 2015, Wikispeed Linwood, Washington. But Troy, using Geomagic's 2D part editor, its drawing tool, uh, what tips would you give to someone somewhere in the world who was nesting parts to put them in one file for Big Blue Saw? Uh, I will try to pick the food and as close as possible. Put them uh, as close as possible so you yeah, zoom in. Yeah, zoom in, zoom in really, yeah, put them like, I guess, milli of uh, inches or... Yeah, yeah close but not touching. Yeah, yeah, really close, really close, really okay, close. Okay, that's really close. <laughs> I see you've been taking me oh, a little too yeah, much yeah, time. Yeah, very close. <laughs> One millimeter is fine. I'm pretty sure that was very small fractions of a millimeter. Yeah, yeah I can so, see the gap now when you're... Zoomed yeah. in for like so, a minute. Yeah, so, so. Wow, okay. Yep. All right, any other tips, Troy? Yeah, you need to be more patient with the part and then, <laughs> yeah, I mean, try to play around with like those little buttons and try to find some more efficient way to save time and uh, save material to, yeah, to try to fit them together. If, yeah. Yes, yeah, we sketched it first before doing the nesting in CAD. Because with the Geomagic is really fast to do 3D parts, its 2D drawing tool is actually pretty slow. And it doesn't look like we have a shortcut to say, stamp this other part an eighth of an inch from this other part. It looks like we have to do it by eye, which is time consuming. So drawing them in the first place saved time. Uh, at least how we'd nest them together. Because it's much cheaper to send Big Blue Saw one file than multiple files and ask them to nest them. Maybe for this reason. Troy, any other tips? Okay, fantastic. So yeah, well, I'll pan over these tires and see if we can read the sidewall. Check that, yeah, P30, uh, yeah, 345, 35ZR18, Hoosier, I don't know if they're A6 or A7s. Well, they will say on there. Anyway, I'm super excited to try these things. Uh, the level of grip should be ridiculous because they're just massive and the car doesn't weigh anything. Uh, should be plenty of fun. Okay, that wraps Wikispeed Linwood, Washington, United States shop for September 6, 2015.